So cervical cancer is a cancer that forms on the cervix, which is at the base of the uterus. And typically cervical cancers are related to what's called HPV or human papillomavirus, which is the virus that is responsible for over 95% of cervical cancers. So there are definitely signs and symptoms of cervical cancer. For instance, if you're having significant pelvic pain or bleeding in between your menstrual cycles, or one of the actually more telling signs is bleeding after intercourse, those could potentially be signs of cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is actually not very common in the United States, mainly because we have had um, an, an uptick in women who are actually getting vaccinated for the HPV virus, which is definitely something that is extremely important in trying to prevent cervical malignancies. So we're actually seeing a decline, gratefully, in the amount of cervical cancer in the United States. But it's still a prominent issue, and definitely it's important, even if you've been vaccinated, to go to your GYN and have your pap screening per the guidelines to try to ensure that you don't end up with cervical cancer. And one of the most important things is stressing that surveillance is key. So one, vaccination, two, surveillance. So these are really the two things that every woman can do to help prevent this. But what's also important to understand is that even with vaccination, even with surveillance, pap screening, cervical cancers can still happen. And you know, the most important thing when a patient is diagnosed with a cervical cancer is to definitely get a referral to a board certified GYN oncologist who specializes in this to discuss what the possible treatment options would be.